Arsenal Fan TV. Mo, you know the first thing I want to ask you is how important is it to keep hold of Alexis Sanchez at the end of this season? He is the man. I mean, how many goals is that now he scored this season? 23 in the league, I think. I mean, and unbelievable. The most yeah. um, and, goals and away from home of yeah. any player. Double figures in assists. Yep. I mean, where would we be without him? 37 games, 23 goals, 10 assists. <laughs> oh, the man I just said yeah. in the championship. The man's not wrong. Um, but yeah, he does everything. And you know, the other thing as well, it only triggered today when I looked at the stats. 37 games, 23 goals, 10 assists. What do you notice there? No injuries. The man stays fit. We haven't had that in a long time with one of our top guys that, you know, non-stop they're there. And not only are they there, they perform as well. It's, it's crunch time, Arsenal Football Club. You know, this tells us exactly what you're about. If you do not keep him, we know exactly what you're about. We know that you're not ambitious. We know that you're prioritising business over mm. football. Do you, do you think you, um, that Alexis Sanchez will sit down with the management at the end of the season and say, right, listen, all right, you're offering me a lot of money. I heard that it's up to 300 grand a week, right? But you know what? I want to see... Who are you bringing in and what? how serious you're going to be next season? Do you think you'll be sitting down saying those sort of things? Well, it should be. You know, if, if I was Alexis Sanchez, seriously, what I'd be doing is I'd be coming across like the good guy and saying, do you know what, Arsenal and Arsenal fans, I'll stay here for one more year. If we win something big, I'll sign a new contract. If we sign world-class, even if we really contest for the league and sign world-class players and we start acting like a big club, <coughs> I'll sign a new contract. But if not, I'm going to leave in a free and I'm going to go and earn myself half a million pound a year. That's what I'd be doing if I was Alexis Sanchez. I'd give us one more year. But the fact of the matter is, if he walks away from Arsenal this summer, I don't care who, where he goes or who he plays for, well, apart from one team, you know, mm. but that ain't going to happen. I will not boo him when he comes back. The fact of the matter is he's been a brilliant, brilliant player for Arsenal. And I hate saying this, but a lot of other people are in, agree in, a, in agreement. Van Persie was right with what he said when he left. And if, he was. He was. Honestly, anyone go and read his statement again and tell me that he was wrong. And look at it from his point of view, what he... Yeah, of course he is, man. Of course he is. He, Remind he, us of the statement, because these guys ain't having yeah. it. So he questioned the direction that the club was moving in, and it wasn't the direction he wanted the club to move in, in, in terms of what he wanted to achieve. What have we won since then? Two FA Cups. The man was not wrong. Look, a man's just pointed out the fact that he went to Man United. Yeah, I hate that. I detest that. That's why I don't like the guy. But he was right. I would have, I would have, I would have had more respect for him had he, had he had said, look, out of respect for Arsenal, I'll go to Italy. You know, I'll go to Juve or something like that rather than going to United. But the fact of the matter was, he judged it correctly. And if, Van, if uh, Alexis releases the same statement this summer and leaves, I'll just say, do you know what? I don't blame you. Because we have to realise Van Persie, Alexis Sanchez, they are not Arsenal fans. They weren't bought up on Arsenal. Arsenal, they weren't, they're not North London lads. So we can't have that burden of expectation like we do of Wilshere, for example, and what we did of Ashley Cole. They, they're not going to do that to us. They don't owe us anything. They've come up and they've done really well. And the thing is, the difference between Van Persie and Alexis, which is why I dislike Van Persie, but I won't dislike Alexis. Alexis was a bona fide superstar when he came here. We didn't make Alexis. Alexis came here as the real deal and his leaving is the real deal. Van Persie at least owed us something. He spent eight years here, four years of that were on the treatment table, and he was a nobody when he signed. So at least he owed us something. Alexis owes us nothing. He's been brilliant for us. So Arsenal, as I say, it's crunch time now. The whole fan base will know what you're about if you do not give him the money and make him sign that new deal. Even if he leaves on a free next year, sign that new deal and take it as 12 months to prove to him that we're a serious club. And on today anyway, look, it was a dead first half. Support was absolutely non-existent in the first half. The team and the support woke up in the second half and came and did something. We're a second half team, looks like we're a second half support as well. But look, Stan Kroenke, you need to pay attention because your investment is not progressing. It's not doing very well. You look at the supporters in there. What stadium? What percentage empty do you think it was today? 20%, 25%, something like that? I'd estimate it was about 45,000. Yeah. We, we, were, we were juggling it and trying to work it out, but I saw a lot of empty seats tonight. Yeah, so that's 25%. 25% empty. That's not a good sign. And I understand it's Tuesday, you know, it's uh, midweek, people have got work and we're not contesting for, for the league or anything like that. But even then, that's a really poor showing. 
fans aren't engaged anymore. And you know, the thing is, season ticket renewals are always good, but that will change. You can't just let your club start regressing and not do something about it. They need to start doing something about it. Take it seriously. It's a massive investment. Do something about it. Okay. I was disappointed we didn't get four goals today because of all of the different scenarios that can happen on Sunday, one of them is that we draw, Liverpool lose, and in that case, it would be goal difference. It's very unlikely. I don't think it's going to happen, but I would like us to have maximised our chances of getting in the Champions League. It looks like it's Europa League for us. And uh, look, it's not a big trophy, but if we're in it, we might as well try and win it, but not at the expense of our league campaign. Okay. Stick the kids in and then do what we need to do in the latter stages. Okay.